This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. I'm going to go into Excel and I want to talk a little bit about this area across the top here known as the ribbon. Sometimes people refer to these as tabs. When you say home, you click the home tab, sometimes people say, but then what you see is the home ribbon. So di different ways to refer to it, but the home tab and or the home ribbon would pretty much be utilized interchangeably. So each one of the tabs, if you will, that's what I like to call them, that are for my screen white, those are working within Excel. Now, the, you'll notice the one tab, the file tab on my screen is kind of a darker green color. That's because when you click file, I'm going to go ahead and click on file, it actually takes you into this area referred to as the backstage. And when you're in the backstage, you're working with Excel. For instance, I want to have information about Excel, or I want to make a new Excel workbook, or I want to save an Excel workbook, or I want to close Excel, or I want to go look at the options within Excel. And so the backstage is actually working with Excel. So let's talk about the backstage for just a few moments. For instance, let's go to the top one. On info, when you click on info, there's a lot of features here, so I don't have time to talk about every one of these. But over here to the right in the backstage, you have the properties of this Excel spreadsheet. So on this particular Excel spreadsheet, there might be something that you would like to change. For instance, you would like to, let's click down here first of all for show all properties, so you can see that there are more right down here, right? So I haven't saved it yet, so it doesn't let me know who modified it. It lets me know that I created it today at 158, but maybe I'd like to specify a company, a company name. So instead of leaving that generic, I'm going to click here for company, and I'm just going to make one up, ABC company, right? But now, inside of my properties, I have established a property that I want. Maybe there's some specific status that you have, or maybe there's a specific comment that you would like to make. So you can see that inside of the backstage, I can work with the Excel workbook, and this particular opportunity simply lets me go in and establish properties that I might want for maybe search purposes, maybe just for um, creativity, so I can remember, how did I do that? When did I do that? What did I do, right? You can keep track of what you've done. All right, I'm going back over here to the left. I just need to scroll up. I scrolled down on my page. And you'll remember there are many options over here within the backstage. For instance, if you wanted to print, you click on print, and there are opportunities here for printing. Now, I don't have anything on my Excel spreadsheet, so currently there's absolutely nothing to print. And I'm finished inside of the backstage. So if I'm finished inside of the backstage, there are two ways to exit. One, and I'm not clicking this one. One is to click this left arrow here that actually exits out of backstage and puts me into the workbook. Or if you're a keyboard person, escape on your keyboard, the ESC key in the top left-hand corner, which is the option that I just chose. So you'll note that the File tab, and they used to be called menus, so many people still refer to them as menus. It allows you into the backstage. These tabs that are not the green color, these actually give me ribbons, and on those ribbons, then I have tasks associated with working inside of Excel. And once you start to use these ribbons, you'll get very comfortable with them. They are what they sound like. For instance, what do you think you'd find on a formulas ribbon? You're going to find formulas for doing math. The page layout ribbon gives you all kinds of opportunities for setting up your piece of paper and what your piece of paper looks like. Insert is how to put things inside of your Excel spreadsheet. So use them so that they make sense, right? And go to the tab that will have the task that you're looking for. Now, something might happen to you, though. If you accidentally or intentionally double click, I just double clicked on insert, and my insert ribbon disappeared on me. That's all right, just double click again. Whoops, I about missed it there. And it pops back out. So that's intentional, because look, let's do it on page layout. I'll double click page layout. When you double click page layout, it collapses the ribbon and it gives you more working space. So sometimes people collapse it because they want more space to work and they don't need their ribbon. Double click 
and the ribbon pops back out again. So you're able to have your tasks available for you, your tools, I should say, excuse me, available for your tasks, or you can hide them. Now in the bottom right hand corner, I'm just gonna follow page layout because it's the particular ribbon that's open, but this is any ribbon. Bottom right hand corner, there's a little arrow there that says collapse. And so all you have to do is click that arrow and it will also collapse. Now, something for you to know, with the ribbon collapsed, you can still use it. For instance, I'm gonna go to home and I'm gonna click on the yellow to pour yellow into the paint bucket. And then when I go back onto my spreadsheet and click on my spreadsheet, I have yellow in the cell because I use my paint bucket, but my ribbon's collapsed again. So remember, if you want it to stay visible, you have to double click on a tab and it locks it in place. And or if you just leave it collapsible, it'll just disappear once you use the task that's available for you. So you'll find it very easy, I think, to utilize these ribbons and to make your way through the tasks that you want to do inside of Excel. For people who have used previous versions of Excel, earlier versions, you would go to the menu and you would click and it would open a dialog box on your screen. I want to show you where the dialog boxes are. I'm going to click back here on the home area so I can be looking at the home ribbon. And you'll see here at the bottom of clipboard, if you rest your mouse, it says see all the items you've copied to the clipboard. On font, there's a little arrow that drops down and it says customize your text to give it the exact look you want. When you see those little drop arrows in the corner, if you click on those little arrows, what happens is those are actually launch arrows and they launch the dialog boxes for you. So now, for those of you who have used the older versions of Excel and you're missing your dialog boxes, you don't have to miss them anymore. You just have to know about that little launch arrow in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and click the X here to close the format cells. See, number. You click that little launch and it launches and you have the format cells options available for you. And these are available throughout the ribbon if the group has the little launch box. Now styles, it doesn't have one. There's not one here in cells either and there's not one here in editing. So it's not available everywhere that you can click to launch the dialog box, but anytime you see those little arrows there, you will be able to open up a dialog box. Now the same tools are available for you on the ribbon, it's just some people prefer the dialog box, they like that visual better and that interactivity a little bit better. So simply make your choice, it doesn't matter which way you want to go, just find that task that you're looking for on the ribbon and use it because then you can get your work done very quickly within Excel by utilizing all of the features inside of the ribbon. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.